Oh, right here. Oh, there's parking. Okay. Coming in hot. Nope. Perfect. Just press that E button a bunch. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we gotta fix this lift now. Man, so we gotta stop selling things, essentially. That's what it feels like. Damn it. Oh, we can't even get in there. It doesn't even matter. Okay, never mind. So we go this way. Yeah. I'm probably through that door, but there's things over here we can steal. for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to? I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. <laughs> Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. <sighs> that was really weird and felt very unnecessary. <laughs> very weird and felt very unnecessary. For sure. Will he be okay? I don't know, Camus. Nothing like that good old filler arc, right? I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. Yeah, that was super unnecessary. <laughs> All right, controls here. Hey, kid. Um, you free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's, uh, it's yeah. for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower. Labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. All right, let's go do this one. Pick back up. Shit. Oh my god, what? this hava is gonna get just desecrated. We're gonna see how badly we can damage it before we... <laughs> oh no, it's so good now. <laughs> No! All right, we should fix it sooner than I thought. Why would you have a game with wonky ass flying controls make it so you like all right whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter perfect we're fine oh there's one of those weird like uh gas mask dudes like that were down in like the mist or the uh not the mist the uh bottom part let's go talk to this guy hey i know you you're cloudpunk no i'm rania i work for cloudpunk who are you? You don't remember? I'm from Vince. We Vince. Spoke. Maybe you don't recognize 
recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Novalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? We were trapped. The only way was to climb. We did not want to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. It was so dark inside the superstructure, it is impossible to get your bearings. So what do you need from me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near cold ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. That is all I can say. Can't we go back the way you came? No! It's frozen solid. The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones. There is no way back. If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Even with the storms? There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. So is this world just ravaged with storms and stuff too? Okay. But it didn't give us a point to like Thomas, go. Are you there? Oh no, Did you it's hear doing. What the moisture okay. farmer said? Yes. Near cold air ducts. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. I'm going to pick up this package. I'm adding a nav point. On my way. Okay. Find the missing moisture Mr. farmers. Anderson. That is a strange name. I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for Perfect. an old Perfect. We can man. repair our stuff. Oh. We'll find out soon. <laughs> Let's find this Anderson Tower. <laughs> just ram into a car really quick. There are so many more people like me here than back at the plateau. Here in Navalis, does that make you feel less alone, Camus? Oh, I don't is. know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice, though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata here in the city are different. I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have to interact with them, and I... ...always say the wrong thing. Oh no, poor Camus. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes... It's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. But I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. I'm assuming I have to park? Yeah, I gotta park there. Okay. More of those. I don't know what we use the punch cards for. We have a lot of them. But I guess, yeah, our days of selling stuff are over. There is a security door. I can hear people inside. Can it be them? Maybe it is giant rats. 
What if it is giant rats? I'm opening the door. I am worried about the rat possibility. <laughs> the rat possibility. We saved you. Oh God, it's open. Someone found us. I don't believe it. Me neither. You're from the vents? Yes. The door would not open. We banged and banged on it. People just walked past. They thought you were rats. They treat us with such disdain. No, literal rats. It's a real problem in the city. I see. Well, thank you for finding us. We owe you everything. Will you go back? Yes, but may we go to a bar first? Is that the word? I haven't been in the city for a long time. You both look like you could use a drink. Take this for your help. I don't need... Please take it. Thank you. Good luck getting home. $100. Cora, bless you, Cloud Punk. Use that for beer. All right, let's go do the other quest now. The other one. Why would they even... How did they get this here? They just drop it off with a crane or something? But how do they get that there? Why is this necessary? <laughs> you don't, don't need a bulldozer here. So many questions. Let's go this way. Get nice and low so we don't get smashed by cars. Little China, little China. Hey, assholes. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally, all of my money will go to repairing this thing. turn too sharp without hitting the car. Oh my gosh. Alright. We're gonna finish up this quest and then uh, prank call it pretty soon. <clears throat> Might be back later today, I'm not sure. But if I come back later today, I'm just gonna play some Minecraft. And finish up that stupid railway thing. Is this a dead end? Can I go over this? I hope so. I can, hooray. Whoa, this is wild.
X? Is that where I deliver the package? Why is there an X on the map? Hmm. Uh, what is going on? Oh, buzzer. Hello? Who's there? I'm delivery driver 14FC from Cloudpunk. No. No, we can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great, come get your package. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. And how many are called Mr. Anderson? 1,000. Why? What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. Of course they are. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or...? Yes. Opening entry for driver 14FC from Cloudpunk only. What? <laughs> what are we getting into? Alright, well, that's cool. Let me see if there's anything to steal over here. Might be something over here, let's see. The thinking man, all right, that's it. it probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> this game, man. All right, Mr. Anderson. So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. Well, I'm going to give you this package then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. That's spirit. B uh, but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. So, let's see. I just rip this flap and... It's a comm. But a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Worth a shot. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. <laughs> More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. There exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does <laughs> seem strange. <laughs> Please, play the rest of the message. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason. To set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? Uh... What? No! We are not permitted to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. Of course he is. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. <laughs> That's not really my problem. Oh. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. <laughs> Get me out. 
talk to Mr. Anderson and personnel. Uh, what? Why is the little thing pointing me there? I don't want to talk to him again. It must be below or something, right? I don't understand. Oh, is this a... Nope, it's not an elevator. Why is it leading me back to this guy? I can't even talk to him. Oh, I bet I was supposed to talk to this guy first. And he was supposed to direct me in there. I will hopefully, if I talk to this guy, it will be correct. Are you Mr. Anderson? More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am, but I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. <laughs> Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. She keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait, can you do something for me? Maybe. Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Additionally, I would like to talk about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... <laughs> See ya. Laser tip battle axes. Ms. Anderson from accounts? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to... I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear! Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. I don't really understand anything you just said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. So the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months, perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? The financial simulations model the city and all associated variables, but the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. So who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name, Cora. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? Yes, I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. 
It's not fair that I have to quit. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. <sighs> well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message, but I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Anderson suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and disappear with the Oh no. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path. Man, we can't wipe them and have them reset the cycle again. We'll leave them to make their own choice. They're close to reaching, like, a choice, I think. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's leave them to their own free will. See what happens. I got a birdcage. I think cage. it's time for the Andersons to step outside their tower and breathe the Novalis air. Alright. But yeah, I'm gonna call it.